Welcome back to The Creepy Files. Today, Local 58 is back. I never actually did a video on Local 58 before this, but it's back. On November 1st, a new video came out, Sky Watching. So today, I'm going to go over everything we've got so far, what it means, and I'll likely make follow-ups when uh, new stuff comes out. But for now, let's go over a simple overview and then my theory. The first video may be the most famous, called You Are On The Fastest Available Route. First, there's a broadcast schedule which is interrupted by a dash cam video at night. A GPS is giving directions, but as time goes on, they get more and more suspicious, finally leading into the woods and telling the driver to shut off their lights. Which they do. The lights turn back on, and boom, some kind of monster is seen. The car drives away as the destination is getting closer. Then the car crashes as a fire rages. The second video called Contingency opens with the Local 58 schedule card. Then the screen changes and a seal for the US Department of the Preservation of American Dignity appears. A message appears saying that the following reel is to be used only when the US surrenders to an insurmountable enemy. It tells the citizens to comply with the instructions. Kill yourself to preserve the memory of America, untarnished, finally concluding with the message, this message will repeat until there are none left to read it. It also gives instructions on the proper position to die in, and how to deal with children and pets. Then a new message is given. Technical difficulties. Local 58 says, the previous message was a hoax. The third video, Weather Service, opens with more schedule cards. Then a weather emergency noise is heard and a warning appears. It says that there is a meteorological event, and the warning is effective until sunrise. It warns about watching the event with the naked eye. Local 58 then begins with more schedules, but is cut off before they can finish writing blood of the <laughs> Then a civil danger warning. It says to remain indoors and not to look at the sky. Then it's interrupted and we're told it is safe and we're even encouraged to go outside. Interrupted again, we're now told not to look at the moon. Stay inside, face away from the windows, avoid mirrors, don't look up. A new weather warning, it's in the light. The moon came in, he found me, through the mirror, moonlight white, white like eyes, not light but blood, drown in him. If you are afraid, we will look together. The fourth video is pretty much a channel trailer, station ID. It's short and sweet. Analog horror broadcast begins today. Look away. It does not matter. There are other receivers safety in numbers Fifth video show for children it opens with a local 58 card again this time showing a show for children The show starts with a very creepy clown then an old animation called a grave mistake starring cadaver The animation shows a skeleton walking through a graveyard with the moon staring at him he comes upon an open grave and pictures a cute skeleton girl, so he looks to see and instead sees a horrifically mangled corpse at the bottom. He gets scared and runs away. Now he seems upset and scared as he walks through the graveyard, coming upon another grave, this time with a dying animal. He runs again and is even more upset, with the moon looking even creepier as well. He looks into yet another grave and sees an endless pit. The camera moves into the darkness of the pit, and an upset and tired cadaver is now walking through the caverns inside. He comes across an open grave, and we cut to cadaver lying inside as the moon looks over him, and he turns into a plain skeleton. Sixth video, a look back. More local 58 schedule cards. It glitches, and we get messages. We send signals to ourselves through their domain. Did we really believe they wouldn't add their own? It cuts back to some earlier Local 58 videos, including a shot I don't believe we've seen of blood dripping upwards under a doorway, and some other things that we haven't seen as well. More messages. Don't touch that dial. More to come. We begin our broadcast day. Seventh video. Real sleep. Another opener. The tape says it's only meant to be used by Ger Ger uh, <coughs> Gerhard Philip. Then, a title card for something known as the Thought Research Initiative. Then, a title card for the Real Sleep Instruction Tape. It appears to be a quiz-style tape that's supposed to go along with the textbook. This section basically tells the viewer, Philip, that dreams are both unimportant and can even impede healing while sleeping. This is untrue, by the way. Next, a custom anti-dream induction. Creepy images of faces appear, apparently inducing anti-dream. 
It also tells the listener to repeat the words, there are no faces. A bunch of creepy phrases appear in succession, and then it says... Okay, the final and newest video, uploaded November 1st, Sky Watching. On the schedule for tonight, 12 a.m., Sky Watching. This video shows a VHS camera zooming in on the sky. Orion's belt, Pleiades, the moon, I mean, uh, his throne? Wow, that's close to the moon. It's, it looks almost fleshy or uh, alive. Okay, that's definitely not natural structures. There's an arrow. Whoa, it looks like the moon is the whole sky. Rejoice. Rejoice. Okay, what the hell does any of this mean? Well, the theory that I've heard the most, and I think makes the most sense, is that aliens have come to Earth and are invading. For instance, we send signals to ourselves through their domain. Did we really believe they wouldn't add their own? We've been sending TV signals and radio all blasting out into space. Aliens are now sending their own. They're trying to somehow doom humankind through the sky by invading our airwaves and telling us to look up at the sky. Even in the contingency video, you're supposed to die looking up at the sky outside. Clearly, that video is broadcast by the aliens. Okay, so the aliens are trying to kill us with the sky by pretending to be regular TV broadcasts. But what's with the moon? It's staring down. It's his throne. It's almost alive looking. So what is it? Well, in my mind, it's almost like the combine. That rhymed. That also rhymed, bro. The combine from Half-Life 2. Some of the ships are half alive, half machine. It's a strangely alive spaceship from the aliens. If you look at the time period of the contingency video, it's only one year after we landed on the moon. We've been disturbing them. They tried to replicate us and to get us to kill ourselves. Again, we've been bothering them. They're here to bother back. So what is the moon? Is it just a mothership? Well, apparently it can kill people or drive them insane by looking at it. The alien's whole plan is to get everyone to look at the moon. Well, think about this phrase, his throne. Clearly the alien or aliens are being governed by something more, and the moon seems to be almost alive. Perhaps the mothership is him. The moon is his current form, and he's been at rest for a long time. We even get some evidence for this with the personified moon in the cadaver animation. At the end of Skywatching, we see someone almost praising the moon, and the moon looks like it's decaying. That sound of an alarm and even that arrow makes me wonder if the moon has some sort of super weapon, the likes of which we can't even comprehend. Maybe it will be ready to activate once he's lost his shell, the moon, once it's done decaying away from him. Maybe when it activates, it only works on those who are looking. So look at the moon. Hell, maybe the arrow was pointing to the exact spot that you have to look for it to work. Maybe the contingency video wasn't sent by aliens. The US and the whole world has become overcome by a seemingly insurmountable enemy. Either way, the moon is getting closer and deteriorating, and it's only a matter of time before we reach the climax of this story. So keep looking up. I hope you all enjoyed this episode of The Creepy Files. Please check out the channels that I have on screen right now. They are what I used for research besides just watching the videos. I will definitely make a follow-up when more videos come out, so subscribe to get notified when one of those follow-up videos come out. Let me know your suggestions for ARGs, creepypastas, movies, or whatever other spooky thing you'd like me to cover next in the comments, or just your thoughts on this video in the comments. The best comment will be pinned. See you all next time. Oh, oh hey, I just about to go to bed. I know we couldn't Skype tonight, but that's alright. Good night, girl. I'll see you tomorrow.